It's the start of another busy day in Pincher Creek for respiratory therapists Tess Craig and Larissa Lewis. Here they calibrate the spirometer. It's used to test patient volumes and flows so that they can be compared with predicted normal levels. Together, these respiratory therapists, or RTs as they are often called, are making a huge difference in the lives of those who come to see them. Full breath in, hard loss. Push, 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 push. Take Annie, for example. She used to sing in a band until breathing problems brought that to an end. Big full breath in, good. I used to never be able to even go for a short walk. I'd be so short of breath. So just big deep breaths in and out through your mouth for me. With proper medications and techniques, Annie is making significant progress. If I can get her to the right place to make her be able to sing and her to enjoy that again. Or like to get up and sing a song sometime. And now so you have hope that that Now happen. I have hope for that. And that's because of Tess. Physicians in general don't have a great deal of time to spend with patients and the addition of respiratory therapy here, particularly these two individuals who have been stellar in what they've done, has made a huge difference to these patients. They've got a time to explain and review with patients their understanding of their disease and the approaches they should take. Tess and Larissa see patients in the Pincher Creek Healthcare Centre as well as in the adjacent medical clinic. Uh, without them, I'd be bugging. <laughs> it's very good care. I suffer from asthma. Those two have saved my life. Come on. <laughs> when you work in a small community, you big breath in. <gasps> are not only treating patients, you're treating neighbors and friends. Two, three, ah, cold. <laughs> it's very satisfying because we can do our best to help the people that we live with. In the cities, RTs primarily run ventilators in intensive care units. In rural areas, they practice to full scope. We sort of have to spread out our skills and, and I enjoy that. Deep hard, fast in, blast hard, blow. Keep going, keep going. Larissa and Tess please, see both please, in please, and out push, patients push, 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 who push, suffer push, with push, any push, kind push, of push, respiratory push, disease. Push, not only do they provide comprehensive care for our patients in the clinic in terms of asthma and COPD management, they're invaluable in the emergency room. And in fact, we had a case last week, a little three-year-old kid camping with quite a severe asthma attack, and they were, Johnny on the spot, really helped that little kid through. <laughs> they do an amazing job. They will come in in the middle of the night if we need them. If I'm delivering a baby and that baby isn't doing super well, they'll come in anytime we call them. Where else? Yeah, are you able to text a professional at 10 o'clock at night because you, you know, your kid is coughing his brains out and you're just worried as a parent? They work so well with everyone side by side and they're just amazing people. We're very, very lucky to have them here. And I love my job as an RT and I feel like everybody around me has created that for me. I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> Sometimes it's a lot of celebrating. Sometimes people come in and say they've quit smoking or you've been able to manage their asthma and you just want to have a cup of tea and throw a party and celebrate with that person. And I have the greatest work partner ever. The two not only work together, they are good friends too and spend time doing fun things together like biking. Each Friday, during simulation exercises, they share their knowledge with other staff at the hospital and the clinic. They've got a lot of knowledge and they've taught me so much, especially coming straight out of school into the working environment. At this RPAP-sponsored Skills Day in Pincher Creek, they introduced high school students to respiratory therapy by using pig lungs. Pig's lungs are very similar to human lungs, so that is quite a good teaching tool. So I love a rural lifestyle. Like, I think it just gives us the ability to have a little bit more downtime to maybe do things together, not as much time traveling in the car. I do love the rural lifestyle. Um, we farm and ranch and um, we had four children that enjoyed that lifestyle as well. Living on a ranch, Larissa has a big garden full of vegetables. Many of those vegetables end up in baking that she brings to the hospital. 
delicious thing she brings in, but every time she brings something in, I always ask her, okay, what vegetable am I about to eat? As my garden is producing lots of zucchini, then I need to get rid of it, so I bake up lots of zucchini stuff and bring it to work as well as feed it to my family. <laughs> so they're being used as disposal? They are. Little do they know. Mm -hmm. We also found out something special about Tess. Once, her and Larissa were partners at a training session on what to do if you were attacked by a patient. The partner was supposed to put their arms around you, like to hold my arms like a patient might grab you, and you were supposed to do this twisty thing. Well, Tess got deciding that she would just actually use some strength and I could not break that hold. I couldn't do anything that they told me to do to get away from it, and she was just giggling in my ear. She's very strong. Dr. Parker teaches judo, and he also discovered that you don't mess with Tess. So I did used to wrestle in high school, um, and then I did do some adult judo with Gavin. She's pretty strong, so I'm, I, I'm only glad that I have a, you know, a, a few inches in height and a few pounds in weight advantage over her, because otherwise I think it'd be a bit of a rough go for me. Okay. Yes, I can pin Gavin. I think one time, though, he had me like pinned, and I was like, if you don't get off, I'm going to bite you, Gavin. <laughs> That's not allowed in judo. <laughs> Congratulations to Tess and Larissa, recipients of the 2019 RPAP Rhapsody Healthcare Heroes Award. It's an honor to win the award. It was a very big surprise. I feel like we're just part of a big team and I feel more like this award was for the whole facility, not just for us. On behalf of the town of Pincher Creek, and I do have uh, authority to represent the Municipal District of Pincher Creek too, to say congratulations, well done, we very much appreciate your effort. Congratulations, Larissa and Tess. Very happy to work with you guys on an incredible healthcare team. You guys are amazing, and we really appreciate you on our team. Tess and Larissa, I'm delighted that you've been given this award. You deserve it wholeheartedly. It's a huge accomplishment. Congratulations, you guys are an awesome team. You are certainly deserving of this, and I want to say how appreciative I am of all of the help you've given me.